friends, welcome to day 22 of the beer, excuse me, the brew vent beer advent calendar reviews. Yeah, it's only been 22 days and I still can't get that smoothly. <laughs> Today, we have, oh, we like troves. Look at that. Oh, it's a blizzard of hops. Oh. This could be challenging. We're going to find sure. out. But it's a troves, which bodes well. It's our second troves of the challenge, yes? Yes, it is. I'm going to take this. Well, otherwise I'll forget. Is Trogues, does Trogues make the Mad Elf? I don't know, but there's a Trogues bottle cap here. I think they do. So It might be three then. Oh, all right. All right. This is a Blizzard of Hops Winter IPA. Not a lot of foam, so you can start. Oh, all right. Hmm. Hmm. Yes? There's All right, okay. wait. The big question. Does Kelly like it? Kelly likes it. Um, but Kelly does not love it. Kelly doesn't love it. Um, what I do like is it's a very, you know, in the nose, a lot of hoppiness. There's a big hit of citrus yes. after, which is actually what saves this for me. It's got <clears throat> Centennial, Galaxy, Chinook, and El Dorado hops. Uh, not the sweeter varieties, if I'm correct. I will double check that. Um, but it's got an 80 IBU, which means that its um, bitterness quotient is really quite high. So, uh, here you go. Thanks. It's a 6.4% ABV. Not very strong. So, yeah, bitter when it's actually in my mouth. And then, like I said, that weird citrusy hit after I swallow. Okay. So, you're not enjoying that citrusy hit. No, I do like it. That, I said that's what saves mm. it for me. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. Um, I'm liking it. It's it's a, a, a very cloudy ale. It's a, a nicely um, layered ale. You get a lot of different um, a lot of different sparkles of flavor as you drink it. But this bitterness is quick hit. Mm -hmm. Then you get that fruitiness. Yep. Uh, I'm I'm quite enjoying it. As far as IPAs go, this is one I would be more likely to pick up. I'm learning to really trust Trogues as a company. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they tend to really balance things well, and they take chances, and yet everything is very well balanced before it ever gets to your palate, which is, thank you, Trogues. It was very thoughtful oh, of you. Oh, Trogues. Oh, <laughs> Trogues, you guys are the best. Oh. Um, this has converted me to trusting things that are really very hop-based. Mm -hmm. um, it hasn't changed my life, but it, I, I, I feel more comfortable. This is really good. We're heading toward the new year. This has converted us about hops. What would you like to convert me on in the new year? And I got one for you. Action star, Keanu Reeves. Come on, you love speed. John Wick is your jam. I know, but there's a big problem with John Wick with me watching it. It's a dead puppy. Shh. It's so good. I, I, I might be willing to watch. Right, greatest action like, star. You deal the with age. the aftermath. All right. I'm greatest just action star of our generation. Love John Wick. Love Keanu Reeves. So, uh, you got one yet? I do. It's actually something we talked about a little bit earlier. All right. um, I'm not going to say the prequel trilogy of Star Wars is great, but I am going to hope that you come around to seeing that there is one shining. Uh, point in that, and that is Ewan McGregor's Obi-Wan Kenobi. And that is a gift that those prequels gave to us. Okay, alright, alright. I will go back and rewatch them again. I might rewatch them for a little bit of Natalie Portman, who is always a welcome addition to any meal. Um, so, yeah, if that gets me to Ewan, uh, deal? Deal. How many reindeer? Um, I'm gonna give a solid six. Six reindeer? Yep. Um, Yes, because although this is an extraordinarily good IPA, mm -hmm. it's not something that I really, I would never have two of these in a row. So I'm also going to say six reindeer for our really delightful Trogues Blizzard of Hops Winter IPA. Until we drink again. Cheers.